Good morning, YouTube. Well, you know, morning to me. 1.23 in the afternoon, Tuesday, August 29th, 2023. And, uh, oh yeah, it's going to be another hot, sunshiny day today. Although, somebody did point out to me that the forecast for this weekend is considerably cooler weather. The cute girl who works at the sandwich shop at the car rental center that, uh, uh, you know, it's killing me. I can't remember her name. I should know her name by now. She's the one that doesn't give me my employee discount on the happy hour sandwiches. Um, not yesterday, but Sunday, uh, Andre actually bought me one of the wraps there. They have one that's a turkey pesto wrap. It's really good, but it's kind of one of the smaller sandwiches. And, and yeah, it's $6 and change. It just seems like too much. Now, they do have a deal where it ends up being just shy of $7 with tax. Now, they do have a deal where you can get two for 12. I'm not needing two of them. Andre uh, did the two for 12, gave me one. So that was nice. Um, and, and, and yeah, I told him that the reason I didn't get it when I saw that she was there was because she doesn't give me the discount that the other girl with the absolutely amazing breasts does. And he commented that he'd seen her recently, but that she didn't, didn't he thought he didn't, she didn't like him, which I think was funny but anyway um yeah she uh i don't know lately every time i go there it's usually just the, the young girl who pointed out the the, the forecast it's going to get cooler i say young i mean she's probably in her early 30s i'm guessing although it is it, that doesn't narrow it down they're both they're both young the one is the one is considerably more petite than the other the one that doesn't give me the discount but um but yeah, yesterday she pointed out that the forecast is going to be cooler this weekend. Thank God. I am so sick of this heat. And then she also... Um, uh, she had a guy that she had there working with her last night, which was odd to see somebody else there. And I think she was kind of training him. But uh, he was the one playing the music. They got a Bluetooth speaker that sits there. And they usually have it loud enough. You can hear it through the whole center of the rental car center. And kind of made my day. He was playing, uh, wow, not to completely throw this, but that's a CBI vehicle right there. That is a weird place for a CBI vehicle to be. Uh, CBI is the uh, one of the hom homeless outreach programs and detox programs. That's where my daughter went. Very odd that the city of Phoenix is letting CBI put their vehicles on the multi-use path since that car is like pretty much completely blocking the path. CBI kind of on my mind because I just recently edited a video where I was talking about CBI and how that's where my daughter left when she left the hospital. Which, uh, other, other than a couple of really uncomfortable phone conversations, I haven't talked to her since and she's uh, she's back in back in Portland now I got an address uh, apparently she's texting Priscilla she can't text me I don't have a number I can get text at right now not until I get my uh, other iPhone back by the way recording on my iPhone 7 plus right now um, yeah I'm on my way to work I'll get my success plus back today I kind of hose myself on that by getting to work after MLS office staff leaves for the day but, man, I just could not wake up yesterday to save my life. So, God, what the hell was I saying before I got distracted by the CBI vehicle there? It's like, I thought it was a security vehicle. I'm like, no, that's, that's CBI. Uh, community Bridges, I forget what the I stands for. Idiots, I think. No, nah, that's just the conclusion I came to after reading all the reviews of the facilities that my daughter had transferred from the emergency room to. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen any place with more negative reviews. Like, they were 100% negative reviews, and they were really, really negative. So, uh, and there goes the northbound 44. I'm going to get a Lime scooter. I still got a day, like a day and an hour left on my subscription. I think. Something like that. Yeah, I showed one with a full battery. Yeah, right over there by the bus stop. Uh, speaking of ones with full batteries, 
I, I know I've mentioned that Lime has changed how they do their uh, scooters since since the days when I was a juicer and how now they don't have to pick up the scooters and have hot swappable batteries. The reason I mention that is last night, the scooter that I rode home, I wasn't able to ride at home. Well, obviously I'm not able to ride at home because I can't take a Lime scooter to the other side of 46th Street. But the main reason I wasn't able to ride at home is because the, um, I, didn't have, I didn't have any access to the internet. So I rode over to the Dirty Drummer over there where I could latch onto their Wi-Fi and ended my ride using their Wi-Fi. So anyway, I parked the scooter right there by their by their smoking patio in a nice, you know, convenient out of the way area. And checking the map today, somebody has gone hot swapped the battery on it, but they haven't moved it off the private property. It still sits there right next to uh, Dirty Drummer. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna go over there and end this video right here so I got enough. Uh, shade to see to launch the Lime app because I know if I walk to where that Lime is it's going to be so bright I'll be struggling to see my phone screen. Hello and welcome back YouTube. If you look really closely you can see where I left my Lime way down there. Figured I'd make a point to park closer to one of the doors that's actually open as opposed to uh, as opposed to where I normally park. Um, down there where the benches are, where the other jars are, that for whatever reason they leave locked at all times now. It used to be all doors to this building were open because this is a public transit station that's supposed to be available and open to everybody in the public, but there's been, been a very deliberate effort by the uh, city of Phoenix, particularly the uh, management of Phoenix Airport, to limit who can and can't use this public taxpayer funded transportation facility. So anyway, I had my first really notable incident of road rage while I was riding the Lime scooter down 44th Street. And I wish, I wish I had some kind of body cameras or, uh, or like glasses cameras where I could, could have caught this because uh, it was, it was something. And it was, it was really something. Uh, now, I, I say maybe my first, because I did have one time where a woman was like kind of right on my ass in a giant ass SUV, which was crazy to me. There's three lanes southbound for traffic on 44th Street. And the two, I'm, so of course I'm occupying the right lane. I'm the slowest moving vehicle. My speed being capped at 15 miles per hour pursuant to city ordinance. And the, uh, the woman was like right on my ass I just couldn't figure out how to change into the next lane over because the other two lanes were empty and um, ended up like passing me still occupying like half of my lane which is insane anyway my train is here I'll, uh, I'll finish the rest of the story as soon as I uh, get to the other end of the line all right it's 1 56 p.m. I really really need to start leaving from home earlier just sometimes it takes so much effort to get me out the door. Like I'm, I'm almost out the door and then I realize I don't have my safety vest or my hat on. Uh, I actually remembered my ID badge this time, so that's worth something. So, um, um, yay. I, I normally don't remember it, but I have an image of it on, um, actually in my iCloud, so it's accessible on both my iPhones. So. If somebody really does want to push that issue, I got it. Although, at this point, I think I'm just going to go full Karen if anybody tries to stop me from going on the SkyTrain because this is a taxpayer funded public transportation facility that actually serves more than just Sky Harbor. I never did look up to see what is the acceptable amount for being late. I mean, there's always, well, with most employers anyway, there's sort of a time window for that of what is considered acceptable. And, and, and usually it's five minutes. I think that's what it was at Amazon. As long as you clocked in within five minutes, it was as if you clocked in on time. But i um, not sure what it is here. If it is five minutes, I think I'm going to make the five-minute time window. Wow, I have no idea what kind of case that is that that guy is pulling, but there was one exactly like it sitting in the big dumpster by the maintenance line 
uh, for Hertz where I grab cars for. And I've been thinking about grabbing it just because it seemed like it would be something useful to have. But yeah, somebody finally <laughs> emptied that dumpster after like uh, over a month of me working here. Oh. Okay, another hot one today. So I was trying to explain what happened with the road rage incident today and got sidetracked in the first first incident that was kind of borderline road rage. I don't think she was raging it though. Uh, the woman in the big white SUV, I don't think she was raging as much as just simply too stupid to change lanes to pass me. Uh, this guy today was straight up raging. Uh, he was right behind me. Now mind you, when I'm riding in the right lane, uh, when I was younger, I used to always ride at the edge of the lane, and the escalator's closed. Well, that sucks. Um, wasn't ready for that. That's going to cost me like 30 seconds. Um, um, and I think there's people getting in with me on this elevator. Well, maybe not. So, um, I think it opens on this side. So, so, yeah, I always ride in the middle of the lane. I used to always ride in the far right side of the lane, and then I realized, and part of it was personal realization, part of it was stuff I was seeing online, that motor vehicles, when they see a, a bicycle or a PEV, on the right edge of a lane tend to be oblivious to the fact that that person is entitled to the whole lane and when they're passed they're not when you pass somebody you're not supposed to be in the same lane when you pass them and, and so by occupying the center of the lane it forces whoever is uh, passing me to actually change lanes and properly go around me as they would any other vehicle I'm gonna have to explain this instant later because I think there's my ride down to the time clock. All right, you guys still haven't fixed it. Three days straight. Power 98.3. Your simulcast at 96.1. The text. The text still says move bitch by Ludacris. This is not Ludacris. I mean, it is kind of Ludacris, but it's not the rapper Ludacris. And welcome back, YouTube. Yeah, I decided to take the bus instead of a scooter. I think I've got like 13 minutes left on my Lime Pass, which expires at like 1.30-ish tomorrow afternoon. So I figured better to go ahead and take the bus home and save that one last ride for tomorrow afternoon. Since the bus was there and it was running and not canceled or anything, also, I'm carrying a pretty hefty bag of my recycling and then stuff that I found in cars. Nothing particularly spectacular, although I uh, did find an unusual amount of, of unopened beverages and snacks, more than normal. So I was wanting to go to Dirty Drummer. It is Tuesday night, but I think I'm just going to go home since I've got this bag of stuff. And I don't really feel right bringing it into the bar. Ooh, there's another can. So I'll throw that in the bag too. Wow, can of cactus cooler. There's something you don't see every day. I need to get me some more cactus cooler. That's really good stuff. I got another can right here. Cleaning up the neighborhood and building up my recycling at the same time. So I never did get around to um, explaining what the whole road rage incident was like today on the way to work. So I'm heading southbound. I'm not sure what you're paying attention to. So I'm heading southbound on uh, 
44th Street on my scooter. And as I said before, I, I always keep in the right lane. And I stay solidly in the middle of the right lane. That way, when people pass me, they, they have to get in another lane to pass me. Uh, I don't like people brushing by me. Like, when you're passing me, you need to pass me like you would any other slow-moving vehicle. And most people manage to do that just fine. There's three lanes southbound. I think two lanes would be adequate for the amount of traffic that goes southbound most of the time. Anyway, this red truck starts following me about the beginning of the, the trip, about halfway between Oak and Palm. But definitely far enough before Palm that he should have seen I was on the road and changed lanes. It's not like I cut him off. I, I try not to do that sort of thing. But yeah, no, he gets right up behind me and just starts honking his horn. And he's riding right behind me. And I'm just staying in the center of my lane. I'm looking back at him, like, just kind of give him the funny look of, like, okay. And I had a few times I pointed to the left just to kind of give him a hint of, like, where he needed to go. And, and he keeps honking, getting right behind me and honking. And, uh, yeah, it's not going to make me go any faster. Sorry, the scooters are speed limited at 15 miles per hour pursuant to Phoenix City Law. If you'd like the scooters to go faster, please write your city council member and write the mayor and let them know, hey, these scooters get in front of me in the road. They need to be going as fast as I am because I would love it if I could go that fast on the scooters. Just saying. Uh, I do believe the current model of Lime is probably capable of doing up to like 30 miles per hour. So, yeah, by all means, if you want me going faster, uh, let your local... City of Phoenix representatives know that you would like me to go faster. Also, the people who don't like scooters and bicycles and, and other slow moving forms of personal transportation blocking the traffic lane. Another thing you can do is write your uh, local city council member and also the mayor and let them know that you would like bike lanes, separated bike lanes, so they're separated from the traffic lanes. Uh, I think it would be a great solution to turn the right lane uh, southbound of 44th Street into a separated bike lane. As I said, two lanes is plenty for the amount of vehicular traffic that's on it. But yeah, that guy couldn't figure out how to get in the left lane. So he just pretty much rode my ass all the way from about, uh, I want to say about halfway between Oak and uh, about halfway between Oak and... Um, Oh, my brain's slipping into neutral. Oak and... Oak and... Maybe about halfway between... I was about halfway between Oak and Palm. And he stayed on my ass until probably about halfway between Palm and McDowell. And to be fair, he did have to wait for a gap in traffic to get in the... Uh, to get in, in the middle lane. But, you know, when you're in the right lane, that's something you just need to expect is that you're going to be stuck behind slow-moving vehicles and vehicles that are preparing to turn right. If you don't want that delay, don't drive in the right lane on a strode. So, um, anyway, I, I figured when the guy got around me, he'd probably be done. And he would be in, uh, you know, since he was in such a hurry that he had to ride my ass like that. But no, he turns into the Clean Freak car wash right before you get to the Del Taco. And does he go in and wash his car? No, no, he parks right, uh, you know, on the other side of the little little wall that separates the, the sidewalk from the car wash there. But he parks right there, opens his door to his truck, and is standing outside of the truck so he can yell at me as I pass. Hey, you need to get on the sidewalk. Yeah, newsflash, dude. It's actually illegal for me to ride a PEV on the sidewalk. I'm pretty sure the city of Phoenix has an ordinance against it. And if they don't, it's certainly against Lyme policy. It says all over the scooters, do not ride on the sidewalks. It says that in the app, do not ride on the sidewalks. Scooters are personal electric vehicles. They're to be ridden in the street and treated as other vehicles, which is how bicycles are supposed to be as well. Is that shit in? I'm not sure if it was or not. I look like the cat that used to live with me. Anyway, I just thought it was funny that he was in such a hurry that he had to make that extra effort to pull there. And I don't know if he was going in to do anything after that, because I didn't slow down to talk to that idiot. 
I was just sort of laughing at him that he got so worked up over an electric scooter in the right lane when there were two other lanes he could be riding in. Got the light going southbound at McDowell and I just kept on rolling. Had an otherwise pleasant trip. Yeah, I really would like to get some video recording glasses so I could record those kinds of fun incidents and share it with y'all on YouTube. Because uh, I certainly do intend to be doing more, more scooter riding in the future and less driving. And uh, really do need to get one of my own damn scooters fixed soon.